So what my group did was we found patterns inside the table. So like every time, so right here, like negative 14, negative 4, that's what I want to be on. Negative 14 to negative 4, that's um, adding 10. And then from negative 4 to 6 is adding 10. Um, 6 to 16 is 10. 16 to 26 is 10. And then on this side, we have negative 3 to negative 1, which is adding 2. Negative 1 to 1, 2. Negative 1 to 3, which is 2. Negative, positive 3 to 5 is 2. So we know since um, they all have this, since this whole side has the same pattern, that it's most likely going to be a straight line. Okay, I'm going to ask you to do a couple of things. Mm -hmm. Number one, switch to the pen mode. This one? And maybe pick, I, I don't care what color you choose, but I want you to show what you did when you were saying that this was adding 10. Okay. This so, way we can see what you were talking about. From negative 14, you, when you go to 4, you're just adding positive 10. And then from negative 4 to 6 is just adding positive 10. From, ne from positive 6 to 16 is just adding 10. And from 16 to 26 is adding 10. Do it on the other side too. Show us what you did. Pick a different color too, would you? Mm-hmm. So on this side, it's... Right here is adding two. Right here is adding two. And adding two. So every time on this side, you're just adding two. Every time on this side, you're just adding ten. Okay. Callian, I want you to add the number seven to the y, or excuse me, to the x value. Okay. Add a seven there. So. Right here, Kelly. Seven. Pause it. No, not plus seven. Oh. Just seven. So erase that plus. Okay. Pause it. And would you write it in there, please? Pause. The rise is 10 and the run is 2. All you really have to do is 10 over 2, which is also You can go to the left, you can go to the right. Which is also ten, which is also 10 halves, which is just equivalent to 5. So really the slope is 5. Pause. I think I think the y-intercept is 1 because you figure that out because when x is 0, that's when you figure out what the y-intercept is. So between negative 1 and 1 is 0. And then be the difference between 4, negative 4, and 6 is 10. So you have to divide that in half. So you have to divide that in half. And then you take 5, which is half a 10, and you subtract it from 6 to get 1. So what's the y-intercept? 1. But you have 0. Where are you going to write it? In this one. Okay. So now, why don't you write the equation? I want you to write the equation of line. Erase that. What? Erase that. Write the equation for this line. You know what the slope is and you know what the y-intercept is, so write the equation for that line. Uh, Got it? I keep going on erasing. Yeah, you got to make sure you go back to pen.
It's a slope. There you go. Oh, look at that. Highlights it. Pause it. Made with DoodleCast Pro.